So welcome to another video. I thought on this one I'd just do a run through the controls of an excavator just for anyone that's interested. Um, you might not know what the controls do when you watch these videos or anything like that. So I thought I'd just uh, do a quick run through the controls in the cab if anyone's interested. So here we are, get in the cab. I'll open the door for you. Now, starting off with the pedals. Obviously you've got a pedal here, these just flip up to reveal the actual controls, left and right. And this is just your, that's for your attachment on your, uh, on the stick. So basically, controlling the ports here. So if you've got a breaker attachment on there, obviously you plug your hydraulics into there. And the breaker will be on the end there for breaking up concrete or or tarmac or whatever, anything hard. And uh, that pedal operates the. As soon as you push it, the breaker will be going like that. Obviously, you travel pedals and you stick, so you can by hand forward, you know, left track, forward, back, right track, forward and back, or. If you're using the controls at the same time, obviously backwards and forwards with your foot on the do the same thing, operates the tracks. This pedal in, in a lot of big machines, you won't see that pedal there because it won't do anything, it'll just be a foot rest or whatever. But this one actually left and right on there is controlling the the end of the boom down there, the red piece there. That moves left and right on these type of machines, the smaller ones. So that's left and right on that. Basically that's your foot, you lay over your feet controls. If we get up in the seat, that will show you the, the actual rest of the controls are doing. So you've got your lever there, you just push down and you won't be able to do anything unless that's engaged, like that. Um, Various controls, the sticks themselves on most of the same. Obviously, your joysticks are the same. Um, but a lot of the buttons on on different star machines do different things on your left and right on your buttons on the sticks. They do various things depending on what it is. Um, you'll see gauges. Obviously, some have just got a screen. And some of the others have just got the analog dials like that with your warning lights down the side. Obviously fuel and water temperatures, your main ones you're looking at. Um, if it's got a blade fitted, a dozer blade like that at the front, obviously you've got your control for that's there. Obviously lower it and then raise it. Your throttle is there. Obviously move it back, it's, it makes the engine speed up, push it forward and it slows down. That's just a radio there, um, various other things, obviously it's windscreen washer, wipers, um, lights, uh, fan just for your heating, turn the fan on and off. Um, and the sticks themselves obviously, for anyone watches a lot of these videos, um, the stick here is for your bucket, it dumps the bucket and does the main boom itself, the main boom, not not the stick, the stick's coming down there, it does the main the main arm there, um, so that's, obviously if you push it right it dumps the bucket out, as in dumps it like that. If you if you press it left like that it curls the bucket back in. If you pull back on the stick it moves the main boom up, lifts it up. And if you push forward it pushes the whole boom down. On this on this side it's just left and right swings you round as in the whole cab moving left and right swinging you right round. So if you just keep on going that way we'll just do complete 360. The same with that way, you do 360 going the opposite way, or wherever you want to go, left to right, just move, dump, you know, move like that, left, right, just the cab. 
and uh, forward and backwards on that side is just a stick. So the arm coming down there to the bucket, that arm. So that's stick out and then back in again. So out that way and then back. So um, that's the main controls on it anyway. Obviously the switches and bits and pieces vary on the size of the machine and what it does. Obviously some have got the screen like I said and you've got all the controls on that that run engine speed and different digging powers etc. But on smaller, on smaller ones you haven't got that sort of thing. So um, yeah. Obviously the keypad there that's just a, um, a mobiliser just in case anyone was wondering. So if you put the key in the ignition, ignition barrels there. Just put the key in if you turn the ignition on. Like that. It just comes up with your warning lights and that basically. And then you just enter your code in down here. Like that. That's your code in. There we start up. This one, the revs won't do anything. <clears throat> won't make any difference to the revs. You can do anything you want with that there until it's got the um, it's got all the oil on the machine. So if you press that, so I'll do that by hand then. See that, uh, I'll just move it out of the way. If you press forward, it's the main sticks going out. As you can see, it's going out towards there. Put it, pull that stick back. It's going back towards you, just the main the stick itself. Not touch anything else, just that. So you push it out far enough away so it's off the ground. And you can see that there, moving it that way, dumps the bucket out, push it back, pulls the bucket back in, like so, and obviously if I pull back on that stick, it's the boom itself, so raise it up, that's the whole boom moving up down on it, it goes down, uh, that's just up, and obviously bucket in and out. And that's always a stick, which is an arm coming down, that's in and out on that, and obviously left and right is the actual swing. So that's the controls anyway for anyone that's interested. Hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel for some more uh, for some more videos coming up soon. Alright, thanks for watching.